Hello everyone, the theme here, and I just want to talk to you guys about multiplayer in gaming, split screen in gaming, all of that stuff in the same subject. Now, apparently Halo 5, that's going to be released later on this year in 2015, will not have any split screen for multiplayer at home. So, um, one of the things that Halo was really, really, really great at <laughs> is the multiplayer aspect. And it started on the original Xbox, you know. I, myself, used to have people come over with their Xboxes or take my Xboxes over to their house, do the LAN parties and ha ha ha, split screens and on separate TVs. And that was so great. Now you got all of this online gaming, which is okay, but it shouldn't be force-fed onto everybody like it is. Split screen should accommodate people that don't have Xbox Live or for people that just want to bring their friends over and play on one TV, two TVs, whatever. But damn, no split screen. I mean, <laughs> that's just, uh, that's terrible <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that's just my opinion. But yeah, that's pretty terrible not to include it. Why would they not include it? I mean, 343 ends up saying that it's going to compromise the game. Compromise the game to have more options to it? Now look, you're telling me that all the past Halos could do it, but this one can't because it will compromise the game. Come on, that's bullshit and you know it. More options. It... It's, it's just it's just the fact that it's like look you take options away then it's like why are you taking these options away when it's so simple to put in more options more gameplay more ways to play the game not just okay you can only play it this way and that's it there was previously a new Godzilla game that came out for a PS4 it was a PS3 port and the only way you can play multiplayer is that you have to play it online there was no multiplayer <laughs> if you're on the PS4. <laughs> you couldn't be in one house with two people and do a versus. There was no versus mode at home. What the fuck is that, man? Let me tell you this. I hope that most fighting games don't do that sooner or later. I can only imagine if the next Mortal Kombat or if the next Street Fighter or any other Capcom game or any other fighting game that comes out, please, Power Stone 3, please. <laughs> please, Rival School Street, please. But okay, okay. If I buy those games, and next thing you know, I can't play with a person next to me in my own house, and it's a two player fighting game or more players fighting game, and then you have stuff like the inside, wait a minute, no split screen, no multiplayer inside the home? It's ridiculous. We want that type of variety, especially since arcades are few and far in between now. If we want to, you know, go and play somebody against, you know, some people are not too keen for online gaming. They're, they're just not because of the way online gaming has been treated for years. You got these people that go online and all they do is talk shit. You got all these people that all they do is cheat. All they do is mod. All they do... Or they don't even play the game correctly. Like, if you're paired with certain people and they're going to be on your team, next thing you know, they're not doing anything to win. Or they're doing everything to win, but not legally. So, online gaming, oh, God. I just don't like the way that everything is going now. You can't even sit in your own house and have somebody next to you and play these games anymore. You have to be connected online in order to play multiplayer. That looks like that that's the trend that this is going. And I, for one, do not like that one bit. The digital gaming thing is, I don't like that either. When they tried to force that on us. And now they're trying to say that the only way you can play these games against people is to go online. Oh, damn it, we need to go back to the good old days as far as gaming is. <laughs> oh, the fact that something that... A friend of mine pointed out to me. Two, two, 
players in the same room and the same screen and so on and so forth. That's been around since combat for the Atari 2600. That's the funny part. You mean, and, and that game is still fun to fucking play. You mean to tell me that that game, as primitive as it, as it is, can do that, but a cutting edge Halo 5 won't be able to do that? Something to think about, people. This is the theme, and I'll see you later. Credits.